Glebe Park, on the eastern side of the New South Wales town of Bowral, was opened by local mayor Alderman Henry Oxley in 1909. The northern end of the new park was devoted to two cricket grounds with pitches consisting of rolled clay, otherwise known as ant bed wickets, which were overlaid with coir matting on match day. In the ensuing years, the Bowral Cricket Club would move its base from a concrete pitch behind the St Jude's Church to Glebe Park and build a clubhouse on the corner of St Jude and Bullway Streets. Eventually to become Bowral's most famous family, the Bradmans moved into a cottage in nearby Shepherd Street in 1911 when their little son Donald was only three years old. At the age of only 12, Don played his first match on Glebe Park when he was roped into playing with a senior team when Bowral was one man short. Having scored 37 not out against Moss Vale on Lackey Park the previous week, the youngster scored 29 undefeated runs opening in the second innings on Glebe Park the following week. After moving into the new Bradman family home, built by his father George opposite Glebe Park, he became a fully fledged member of the Bowral men's team. In 1926, Bradman played an innings on the ground that would go down in legend. Making his first century in adult competition, he went on to score 234 runs in 165 minutes with a flurry of fours and sixes against a Wingelow side boasting future teammate Bill O'Reilly. The following week in Wingelow, O'Reilly exacted his revenge dismissing Bradman first ball of the day. In the competition final that season, Bradman would make an innings of 300 and attract the attention of grade cricket teams in Sydney, which would lead to his eventual move to the state capital, his selection for New South Wales and Australia, and his record-breaking cricket career. A turf wicket was installed at Glebe Park in 1946 and the following year the ground was renamed the Bradman Oval in honour of the town's favourite son who would later be knighted for his services to cricket. In 1962 a simple sign was replaced by a more substantial archway but by the 1970s the ground was suffering from neglect and was badly in need of repair. At a reopening of the ground following a refurbishment in 1976, old combatants Bradman and O'Reilly attended the ceremony on the ground where they had duelled half a century earlier. In 1989, the Bradman Museum was officially opened, firstly with the pavilion and a second stage opening in 1996. A third stage, the International Cricket Hall of Fame, was opened in 2010. In its heyday, the Bradman Oval hosted England tour matches and televised state one day matches in the 1990s with crowds of up to 5,000 spectators. The ground was also the venue for a women's test in 2008. Heritage listed in the year 2000, the Bradman Oval is also the final resting place of Sir Donald and Lady Jessie Bradman, with their ashes scattered by their family on the oval and in a small memorial garden adjacent to the museum following Sir Donald's death in 2001. <laughs>